Our seventh contestant is Roger MacDonald with his speech titled, Love Heals. Love Heals. Roger MacDonald. Can you raise your arms like this? Can you bring them together? Can you make a heartbeat? Ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Imagine a heart in my hand. This heart is hurt and bleeding. Hands up if you've ever been hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Contest Chair, though history may give us hurt, love heals. At the age of 17, my grandfather was sent to fight in the trenches in France in World War I. He witnessed firsthand the trauma and horrors of war. He saw his best friends blown to bits by mortar fire. He smelt the putrefying decay of bodies abandoned in no man's land. He heard the deafening shriek of artillery fire day and night. After two years, he was sent home to care for his widowed mother and siblings. And later, he raised his own family through the Great Depression where the income from his job fed his household and half the street. History had given my grandfather great hurt and very little love, and now he was ready to pass that hurt onto my father. One of my father's earliest memories, which he shared with me over and over again, was of his father, my grandfather, kicking him out of house and home with nothing but the cotton starch clothes on his back and his leather tan trilby hat. My grandfather said, you're useless, you're good for nothing, you'll never amount to anything. My father said, he said, you're a ning nong. My father said, what's a ning nong? <laughs> My grandfather said, it's an idiot. My father left home and joined a shearing team full of men who were veterans from World War II. These men had also witnessed firsthand the trauma and horrors of war. Shell-shocked men taught my father how to be a man as they fought, cussed, smoked and drank by the fire as the sweet-smelling sandalwood smoke spiralled upwards into the diamond-studded sky. My father was like a wounded animal. He struggled, he fought, he drank. He amassed great wealth and lost it all. He married two beautiful, exotic women and lost them both to painful divorce. History had given my father great hurt and very little love, and now he was ready to pass that hurt onto me. Since I could walk, I remember my father saying, you're useless, you're good for nothing, you'll never amount to anything. As a teenager, I remember my father saying, you're useless, you're good for nothing, you'll never amount to anything. As an adult, I remember my father saying, you're useless, you're good for nothing, you'll never amount to anything, you're a ning-nong. I said, what's a ning-nong? <laughs> he said, it's a no-hoper, I've redefined it. I was like a wounded animal. I struggled, I fought, I drank. I amassed great opportunities and let them go. I built great friendships and threw them away like scraps of paper. History had given me great hurt and very little love. And now, could I pass that hurt onto the next generation? 11 years ago, my daughter was born. And I said to myself, the hurt which had passed from my grandfather to my father to me would not pass on to my daughter. Every day since she was born, I've told her, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Every day since she could walk, I've told her, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Now she's 11 years old, I drop off at school every day, I say, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. This kid's self-esteem is through the roof. <laughs> she comes to me and she says, Dad, it's the sports carnival tomorrow, and I want to win champion girl. And I say, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. And guess what? She wins champion girl with no training. She comes to me and she says, Dad, I've convinced all the year fives and sixes to vote for me to be head girl. And I say, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. However, the night before the results are announced, she comes to me shaking and nervous. She says, Dad, I've worked so hard to be head girl. What if I fail? I said to her, know this, win, lose, or draw, 
I love you so much. And I'm so proud of you. And you're a ning nong. <laughs> she said, What's a ning nong? I said, A ning nong. A ning nong. A ning nong is someone who I love so much and who I'm so proud of. I've redefined it. <laughs> About the same time my daughter was born, I began telling my dad I loved him. He was getting older now, and I wanted this proud and fiery Aussie battler to know that I loved him. No matter what <laughs> grenades of insults my father sent my way, I would say, I love you, Dad. No matter what <laughs> machine gun fire of criticism my father sent my way, I would say, I love you, Dad. No matter what <laughs> rockets of negativity my father sent my way, I would say, I love you, Dad. At the end of every letter and card, I would write, I love you, Dad, smiley face. <laughs> At the end of every phone call, I would say, I love you, Dad. And he would say, did, 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 did. <laughs> At the end of other phone calls, I would say, I love you, Dad. And he would say, bye. Did, 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 did. This went on for 10 years. One day, my dad was 2,000 kilometers away in another town. I received a call from a nurse at the local hospital telling me my dad was critically ill and he only had hours to live. I asked to speak to my dad. He was drifting in and out of consciousness. I said, Dad, I love you, Dad. And he said, I, I love you too, son. Did, did, did. Love heals. <laughs>